this crypto lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Polygon Matic. We're going to talk about Cardano and Sunday Swap. So starting with Polygon. Okay, guys. So I mentioned last week before the crash that Polygon was going to have this whole ZK Day, this conference that they've got coming up in two days on the 9th of December. All right, guys. So we've got ZK Day. 5.9 thousand members have registered to attend Polygon's ZK Day. I believe Vitalik, the founder of Ethereum, is also attending. All right, guys. They're going to talk about StartNet, uh, ZK proofs, zero knowledge. If you don't know what that is, make sure you go and do your research. Okay, guys. But Polygon are also hiring. So there's lots of innovation there. Uh, but one thing that caught my eye today, which is also bullish for the price action because Polygon is setting up to explode. So let's just take a look at this little bit of news. We will have a look at the chart in a little while okay guys so vcs or venture capitalists uh, capitalists are eyeing up investment in polygon all right guys so what does this mean for the price of polygon you can do your own research and look at some of these articles but 50 to 150 million potentially being invested in the innovation and technology of polygon Matic, all right, guys. There's a few names in here. If you go and read the articles, you'll probably uh, know a little bit more about that. Like Sequoia Capital, I don't know how to pronounce it, all right, guys. But venture capitalists are looking to put their money into Polygon. We've seen it with Solana, with you know billionaires back in Solana. People talking about uh, uh, other tokens like Avalanche. Uh, Luna's looking exciting as well. I won't be surprised to see this kind of news with Luna as well. But Polygon. All right, guys, so I think we're going to get a massive move out of Polygon. This is super bullish, okay, guys? Not only that, I don't know if anyone's noticed that Polygon seems to be running a lot faster because um, I use Polygon near enough every day. It's running a lot faster. It was slow. Let's say even just a few weeks ago, Polygon was super slow. I've noticed the speed has increased. I don't know what they're going to be announcing on uh on the ninth because uh, they've got a special announcement coming up if you if you uh haven't heard um as well as the uh zk day there's going to be a special announcement apparently or a huge announcement that they're going to announce on zk day all right guys um my phone's ringing so there's going to be a huge announcement that they're going to talk about on zk day and um, hopefully that will bring some, you know, price increase to the chart as well. A lot of people will probably play it or think, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news. But I think sort of like what we saw with Render, uh, if it's good news, of course, uh, you know, if it is special, like, you know, we're anticipating it to be. Obviously, that's going to uh, impact the price of Polygon. We're going to see a massive price increase at Polygon. And that is potentially right, guys. But if Bitcoin decides to drag the whole market down, um, because, you know, there is some uncertainty about whether Bitcoin is putting in a dead cap, dead cap bounce at the moment. Um, obviously, that will, you know, play a part in that as well. But if everything, you know, uh, carries on smooth sailing the way it is right now and we get an alt season, obviously, we're going to see massive moves to the upside in Polygon. Not financial advice, just my opinion. OK, guys, but if we look at the chart, uh, Polygon has broken out of a bullish uh, triangle okay guys and um, this is not a short-term triangle this is a macro triangle all right guys and as you can see it has broken out of this level we got a little bit of a scare over here a little bit of fake out and that was the bitcoin dump right there but matic polygon has recovered very nicely i must say that and luna were two that i were watching in terms of the blue chips and they haven't disappointed matic polygon is priming for a massive move to the upside in my opinion, okay, guys. Now, I don't expect these things to happen overnight, but like I said, with the conference coming up, ZK Day, huge announcement on the horizon, venture capitalists investing into Polygon, potentially uh, we could see some massive moves out of this. And this is literally set up just to do that. We're not far away from the previous all time highs at $2.72. So, the volume as well. Let's not forget about the volume. Volume, if that looks beautiful. Volume is definitely coming in. And that's nothing. All right, guys. If you look at this volume over here on the last pump, that's what we expect to see when this market really gets going. So there's lots of potential for Matic Polygon. Let me know what you think about Polygon in the comments. Are you bullish on this token? I don't recommend that you sleep on this. Not financial advice, but this one could be a huge player especially seeing as a lot of people forgot about it they were complaining about you know the speed of matic but you know this is a layer two and that is going to be one of the narratives going forward 
in this ball cycle, in my opinion, mark my words. All right, guys, the other one I want to talk about is Cardano. Now, Cardano have been waiting forever for a decentralized exchange to come out, um, especially considering they went live with smart contracts. There's a lot of building, a lot of innovation going on on Cardano. Um, a lot of, you know, super fans of Cardano, but no decentralized exchange to take this to the next level. Bring that volume in, all right, guys. And now Sunday Swap have come out with their test net, all right, guys. I know it's not the main net, but you can go over and try out the Sunday Swap test net. I haven't tried it out for myself, but you guys can check it out for yourself, all right, guys. But will this be super bullish for Cardano in December now? We don't know if they're going live with their mainnet shortly or whether it's, this is going to happen in the new year, but we're anticipating this for the new year. All right, guys, you got the test net. So if this does happen in the new year, I think we will see a bullish, uh, definitely a bullish 2022 for Cardano. All right, guys, I can't give you the greatest news right now, but, you know, this is something at the end of the day. Will this get the price of Cardano moving we need to check out the chart for cardano so when you look at the chart for cardano it looks like doom and gloom all right guys um we're not just talking about the sell-off from the bitcoin crash the other day we're looking at a downtrend from cardano since september we had this massive rally to the upside and ever since it's been falling to the wayside all right guys because cardano are historically known for being a little bit slow to market but they are well known for being you know uh uh very technical obviously they are a competitor to ethereum unlike polygon you know polygon matic who are complementary to ethereum although they have their own mainnet they are a layer two some would argue that they're a layer one layer two they're both of those things all right guys polygon is cardano is obviously trying to do their own thing but without a decentralized exchange you know they are getting beaten to market by solana avax polygon you know who else we, we just see multivac come out with a dex we got you know uh near and and luna all of these you know layer ones that are you know beating cardano at the moment but cardano is definitely one that has community behind it and a lot of innovation they also have a lot of the supply state uh, which just proves, you know, proof of stake, all right, guys? So, you know, Cardano is definitely one that you shouldn't sleep on despite this downtrend, all right, guys? Could this be the bottom for Cardano? Could we see some upside for Cardano, uh, you know, in this month, December? Uh, with the way Bitcoin's been going on and the way this has responded to it, it doesn't look brilliant at the moment. However, with Sunday Swap innovating, you know, a decentralized exchange could change the fate of of December, January for Cardano, in my opinion. It's currently sitting at $1.39, but right now, this could be a local bottom, just like we're seeing with a lot, uh, or the rest of the altcoins, okay, guys? If we draw a Fib retracement on this chart, all right, guys, let's just have a look at what we could expect from Cardano. So their potential target for a bounce at this stage will be at the 0.618, which perfectly lines up with the resistance over here at around two dollars and 36 cents so that could be a good christmas present for you if cardano can get a bounce um, up to that level there another thing that i want you to take note of is the fact that there is a descending triangle on cardano that could potentially break to the upside if it continues in this formation okay guys so obviously you can see a little bit of a fake out over there before it broke back down all right guys so if this can break out of this triangle uh, you could potentially see a massive pump out of cardano and that would you know line up good with that you know 618 level at around two dollars and 40 cents like we saw before obviously the ultimate target will be the top of this and then consolidation and break back to the upside but we don't know if that's going to happen first we need to cross that milestone at least get up to that resistance level flip that as support and then continue to the upside now we can clearly see that cardano is clearly bouncing off the bottom of this trend line at the moment as well so this could be a potential entry point for cardano there are a few weeks below that but um, yeah, this could be an entry point for Cardano. And of course, you would ride this up to the top of this triangle and wait for a breakout on that potentially if you are front on it. A safer way is uh, just to buy it after the breakout and then ride it up, right, guys, if it can get up that far. But this decentralized exchange, this news could potentially, you know, support that breakout. And, um, you know, obviously the first target will be right there. And, um, you know, there's definitely a lot of bullish uh, sentiment in the market as a whole right now despite the fact that there was a uh, massive bitcoin crash 
uh, altcoin dominance did fall and people are still bullish and evidently you know bullish on altcoins we've seen luna get bought back up crazy we've seen matic hold up well but you know cardano could potentially be a good play with this big massive sell-off since september i think it's about time that cardano saw some upside in my opinion the volume obviously is descending so obviously if we do get an increase in volume that will also look really nice for cardano it's a long way from all-time highs we're looking at about 100 percent plus and if it can do that you know it could be a good a uh, couple of months for Cardano. Now, of course, none of this is financial advice. This is mainly just the bullish outlook on Cardano, for example. You know, the bearish scenario would be that it falls out of this and it just falls down below this level, down below a dollar. Obviously, nobody wants to see that. We want to see it break out bullish. Yes, it might break out and then pull back and then get some more upside potentially, or it could break out, roll over and continue to the downside. Obviously, that's something we need to look at later, but Cardano at the moment, it does look like it could be a good entry point and you could potentially see some upside in the short to mid term from Cardano. So that's all I've got for you tonight, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about these two projects. I'm super bullish on Matt polygon cardano is looking bullish to me as well you know with everything that's going on all right guys but you will be front running the move on cardano unlike polygon obviously polygon has broke bullish already this one could potentially break bullish out of this pattern but that could be a short to midterm move you know let me know what you think about that if you're not subscribed already go ahead and click the subscribe button like and comment hit the little bell for notifications so you can get videos like this as soon as they come out guys and i will see you in the very next video